Hey there everyone, thanks again for stopping by. I'm glad you're here because this problem is pretty cool. It's kind of like a math and science combo and it really puts our modeling skills to the test. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So our first piece of information is that altitude above sea level is given in positive values and altitude below sea level is given in negative values. And if a hiker starts at an altitude of negative 20 feet, we have to find the following. And that is, what is her position after increasing her altitude by 20 feet? And also, how many feet of altitude will she have to travel to reach a position of 60 feet above sea level? So now let's ask ourselves, how can we model this situation? If we can see what's going on, we'll be better able to answer this question. So let's imagine a place where somebody would actually go hiking and change elevation by either going up or down in altitude. We can also imagine a horizontal line representing sea level and a vertical line representing altitude either above or below sea level. Now remember that the area above sea level is positive values and the area below is negative values. Now our hiker's starting position is at an altitude of negative 20 feet. So that's 20 feet below sea level. So now we want to find out what is her position after increasing her altitude by 20 feet. So she starts at negative 20 and she's increasing. She's hiking upwards in altitude. And we know that negative 20 plus 20 would just be zero. So that's going to bring her right back to sea level. So we can say that her position would be zero feet above sea level. And scenarios like this should help us to understand that negative 20 plus 20 is equal to zero. So it just brings you back to where you started. Now our next task is to find out how many feet of altitude will she have to travel to reach a position of 60 feet above sea level. So remember she started 20 feet below sea level at negative 20 and she wants to get to positive 60 above sea level. So we need to figure out how many feet of altitude in total she has to increase to get from negative 20 to positive 60. Now we just figured out from negative 20 to 0 is 20, and then from 0 to 60 is 60. So to figure out the total, the whole thing, you just have to add those two values together. 20 plus 60 is equal to 80. So in order for her to reach that altitude of 60 feet above sea level, she would have to increase by 80 feet. So that's it for this one. Remember, on questions like this, it's always super helpful to draw a diagram. When you can see what's going on, you can better understand what's going on, and you'll be more successful.